Uh, our chief guest. I think I've messed with this uh, gadget. Uh, Chacha Muita, the director of education. The leadership of Family Bank Foundation. The leadership of Family Bank present here. Our students and all our other collaborators in this effort, good morning. Or is it afternoon? It is still morning. Um, firstly, I, I don't know, this thing is a bit of a problem. Can somebody help me to sort it out? Uh, firstly, let me say how happy I am today. And today I'll not be speaking to you in the, my capacity as uh, chairman of Family Bank. I want you to take my remarks as remarks from my grandfather, because all you guys here are my grandchildren. My eldest grandson is about 26 years, so I think all of you are, who are coming to Form 1, none of you is 26. So I'll be speaking to you as my grandchildren. So the advice is from my grandfather. If you have a grandfather, I try to say, to think what he would have wanted to tell you, and that's what I'll try and do today. Um, firstly, let me thank the Family Bank for supporting Family Bank Foundation, because I'm very delighted to see that from a very humble beginning, I was the first chairman of the Family Group Foundation, and I was succeeded by my very able friend here, Dr. Francis, and he has done a commendable job. Because when I was the chairman, we, I think we supported less than 60 students countrywide. And now I'm very happy that we are supporting over 300 students from 35 counties. I think that's a very great achievement and I'm very, very delighted. <laughs> this just shows that perhaps, you know, when you pass on the mantle from one person to another, the other one takes the baton and really runs with it. And I think, Francis, you have really run with this thing and I hope you'll continue with the same spirit and the same speed and that maybe next year we'll come and celebrate the scholarship of maybe 600 students, if not a thousand next year. That should be our dream. The second point I just want to make, and I think uh, our CEO has alluded to this, is to congratulate you guys. I think you've done us proud. I think getting the marks you did, I know that is really commendable. You know, the, the, when, when you pass the way you did, and some of the, you, I know they, you came from schools that were not particularly well equipped. I think it speaks volumes about your ability and what kind of people that you are. But in that also, I would like to take this early opportunity to also uh, appreciate your parents and your guardians and your supporters who have brought you this far. Because to get you to this stage, actually, there has been a lot of investment done in you. And I'd just like to say Asante and Isana for the parents who have taken you this far because they have done a commendable job of bringing you this far. Today, you are starting a, a, an important journey in your life. And it's an opportunity now to start actually forming your life. Eh? And uh, you might ask yourself, you know, why Family Bank supports Family Group Foundation? And uh, it's not because we make a lot of money. We make quite a bit as, as a bank, but not enough. Uh, but why do we support the Family Bank Foundation? We, 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 we do that because we want to give you you guys, an opportunity to make something about yourself and to make a difference in, in, in this world. It is to provide you to give you a good education. We hope that in the schools that you'll go, that you'll be, have an opportunity to build your character. Yeah? And in building the character, we are talking about the kind of people that we want for our, for our country in the future, honest people, people of integrity, people who matter, people who care, people who think about other people other than just themselves. Because it's only that way that our country can actually move forward. You are, you are beginning a very important journey. 
yeah, because um, I had some of you in terms of your aspirations, you want to be doctors, you want to be engineers, you want to be accountants, you want to be everything. And I'm saying, here you are in I'm a, I trained as a civil engineer. I'm in academia, I'm a chancellor of a university, so some of you will be joining my university where after you are four years. I am in environmental conservation. I also had a bank as a chairman. I also had the biggest media house in this country. So everything is possible. And also you saw the CEO of Family Bank here. He's a lady, he's a woman. How many of you would like to have her job in another 10 years from now? Put up your hands. Nobody wants her job? Yeah. You know, Rebecca, you have quite a lot of people. You know, when you retire at some point, we, we, because seriously, what we are trying to do is to, to train for manpower. Because what we are trying to do is actually building our contribution where we hope that we are making out a, a contribution in terms of uh, providing future lawyers, engineers, doctors, lecturers, uh, teachers, and so on and so on. So we are very, very delighted to make that contribution. Um, I think I don't want to give you a lot of uh, I, uh, advice, but I know one thing that when you go to school, one of the uh, biggest challenges you are going to have is peer pressure. Peer pressure. And I think it has been very unfortunate, uh, Bwana, uh, Director of Education, what we have seen in some of our schools, you know, where we have some things that are not so good. I think all of you have heard about schools where the children are burning the dormitories, burning the classrooms, burning the buses, and so on. And I ask yourself, you know, the classroom and the dormitories are going to be your homes for the next four years. Which of you would go and burn their own homes? Which one of you would go and burn the, 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 your father's bicycle or even the, the granary where you put your food and everything else? You wouldn't do that. But yet we know some of our students do. They go and burn the classrooms, they go and burn the dormitories, burn the mattresses, burn the suitcases. And why? Because of peer pressure. Because maybe I had the most classic one I had a long time ago was students were not allowed to go and watch television because I think Manchester United was playing Arsenal. And I'm just wondering how how crazy can somebody be, you know, where you go and burn a whole dormitory because you are not allowed to watch an English Premier League match? I don't know what you call it. I call it idiocy. And I, I know you are smart young men and women. women but nobody would on their own would do that you do that through the peer pressure and therefore what I just want to advise you is that uh, when you go to school don't don't follow the mob you are supposed to be leaders and this is what as family bank uh, when we are supporting the foundation, we are hoping that we are creating and developing a crop of leaders, not followers. Not followers. <laughs> and leadership is not just the politicians. You know, people think that leadership is just about the politicians we see in the television every day. You are leaders in your own, in your own ways. And therefore, we hope that the beneficiaries of the Family Bank Foundation will be leaders in terms of influencing their colleagues and peers to do good and to be good citizens. So don't be carried with this. The other challenge that you'll be meeting is about the drugs. There's a lot of drugs in the, in the, in the, in the schools. And let me tell you this, as a grandfather, you miss nothing by not getting into drugs. You miss absolutely nothing. 
but you have everything to lose. Don't expect to get anywhere in life if you start indulging yourself in drugs. I can tell you this for free. I'm 78 years old. So I've seen a lot of days. And I can tell you for nothing. If you get into drugs, you are quisha. Kabisa. I'll tell you something. When I left the university many, many years ago, and I went to play golf one day here in Mudaiga, and the guy who came to carry my bag as a caddy is a guy who was my classmate in the university. In my class. Why? Because the guy got into drugs. He messed himself. His family, Ikazarabatika. He had nowhere. The fellow was down and out. Somebody with a university degree in engineering. Because of drugs. I beg you, my children, my grandchildren, please don't get into that. The other point I want to tell you is don't engage in sex at this stage. When you get married, and we hope many of you will get married, you will have all the time in the world to have all the sex you want, but not in school. Me, I'm talking to you as a grandfather. This is not the official line for family bank. I'm talking to you as my grandchildren, especially girls, especially girls. Yeah, please don't, because you spoil your life before you have even started it. So I want to ask you to go and concentrate in what, have you, what you have um, gone to do, focus on what you went to do. Four years is a very short time very very short time but that time will make all the difference whether you make it in the world or not today you are starting on equal footing but i can assure you in 10 years from today some of you will be here others will be here but it is you guys you decide the path that you want to follow don't be a follower be a leader because that's what you are born to be, to be a leader. In this country, we have a lot of things that you guys come to come and fix in our country, because our country is hurting from a lot of things. Our country is hurting from corruption, from misgovernance, from a lot of stuff. We want you to come and fix our politics. We want you to come and fix about things that we are talking about, like existential threat to humanity, like climate change, and also, you know, environmental conservation and things like that. You have a lot of things to do, and we are re relying on you to come and do that. I was very delighted to hear about the attitude of some of our beneficiaries of Family Bank Foundation Scholarship, saying one of the things they want to do is to come and give back to the society. That is very, very commendable and very positive attitude. Because no matter what you do and no, no matter what achievement you, you, you do, life is not about you. If you think about that life is just about you, about your accomplishment, about how, how you get into the world, you will find that is a great deception. Life is about helping other people. And when you help other people, that's how you climb in the ladder, whether you're in the professional ladder, whether in whichever ladder that you do, when you help other people, that's how you rise to the top. You don't rise to the top by being I, me, and myself. If you have that attitude, you will not get very far. So, my greatest pleasure, I want to wish you well in your studies. I hope I'll, be, I'll come back here maybe in another four years if I'm still alive for, to hear a testament from you guys telling me how much you have achieved. I have no doubt at all that you will achieve great uh, academic success, but academic success is very, very good, but it's not all. What matters and what will make you a better person is the character that you're going to have. And we hope that uh, in our interactions through our mentorship programs, that you learn something and that uh, you'll all become great citizens of this country. My small request to you uh, as, we, as I wind down, is you are beneficiaries of Family Bank Foundation Scholarship. Go and tell your friends 
Go and tell your parents. Go and tell your aunties, your uncles, your grandfathers and your grandmothers that here is a bank that cares for the people. Whether we have an account or we have a branch in your own area, we support you. Encourage them to come and become part of the Greater Family Bank Foundation you know, family by opening banks, uh, opening accounts with us, and interacting with us. Because we believe in the society, we believe in helping you, and you have been given this opportunity to do good. So, watoto uh, wangu, wajuku wangu, na la kila raheri, and I know you'll make us proud. I expect nothing other than to know that 10 years from today, we'll be having surgeons, we'll have been pilots, we'll have be having judges, we'll be having politicians, and even one day, maybe the Kenyan president will come from one of you. That is my prayer to you today. Asante Nisani. <laughs>